I'm joined by epidemiologist and cardiologist, Dr. Christopher Lavo. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, my pleasure. What should people know about getting together for the holidays? I think we just have to be careful. When you look at the rising case numbers, you look at the spread of the Omicron variant, we just have to be a little bit careful. So if you're planning a holiday gathering, make sure everybody there is fully vaccinated. Make sure nobody there is symptomatic. And if you can get access to a rapid test, making sure people test negative before they show up, that is going to help considerably in reducing the risk. What if some members of your family aren't vaccinated? How do you navigate that? Well, I think you need to have a frank and honest conversation with them. I would think given the current situation, it's probably not a good idea to have unvaccinated people over at your house, but everybody has to make those decisions on their own. But I think you just have to be open and point out to people that, look, COVID is still here. COVID is a, is a real risk. And especially if you're an older person with health conditions, you, you catching COVID could result in some very serious medical complications. Would you expect them to keep them small, their gatherings? And what do you, what do you suggest for those who don't want to go to 20? I think that the smaller we can keep the gatherings, the better off we're going to be. The smaller they are, the less likely it is that somebody in that room has COVID. And we should probably aim for smaller, more moderate gatherings. What are some safety tips, you know, at the table in these homes for Christmas and New Year's? You know, maybe some hand sanitizer or rapid tests. What do you say? Well, rapid tests definitely help. So getting everybody to test negative before they come over, that's going to help. Rapid tests are not perfect. False negatives do happen, but they decrease the probability that somebody has COVID by a rather significant margin. The other stuff that we've talked about over the course of the entire pandemic helps. So people can wear masks, that helps, but obviously people can't wear masks if you're eating dinner around a table. Um, so, you know, do that as much as you can. Space people out as much as you can. Make sure air circulation is as good as you can, although you can't really open open windows when it's the dead of winter. So we have to balance the ideal and the practical and try to make things as good as we can, given the realities of the situation. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Labos. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.